Corporates have long been banking's most profitable customers. Most banks, accordingly, are revving up services for corporate customers. Indeed, transaction banking is achieving a new eminence as a sustainable source of revenue in banks. But the industry faces great challenges, navigating a path between the pressures of uh, mounting regulation and new technologies and innovative working practices that banks look to pass on to corporates. Steve, perhaps I could begin by asking you what are the main challenges facing financial institutions as we approach this era they call the fourth industrial revolution? You know, with the changing in technologies and our customers' expectations moving so quickly, um, our customers want it to be very simple, smart, and they want to transact with us in a very secure way. And with the proliferation of cell phones, IoT devices, um, cloud computing, and things like blockchain, AI, um, we need to look at these technologies and to say how they fit very well with us. The bank's strategy is really to look at how we digitize at scale, and uh, we want to make sure we're focusing on the right technologies uh, to do the right use cases so that we can fulfill what our customers need from us. Well, we just heard it from uh, Steve Suarez. Huh? Uh, data has become of a strategic importance for banks for various reasons. For instance, banks are increasingly making use of transaction data, such as payment processing details, to offer more visibility to their customers. Sustainability. Sustainability goes to the very heart of modern banking operations. Banks need to demonstrate the most impeccable sustainability credentials for today's clients, regulators and legislators. One of the ways banks can accomplish superior sustainability is by closing large in-house data centres to move to a hybrid compute environment. We are automatising our processes, industrializing our activities and reducing paperwork. Data, of course, is at the heart of our strategy because data is a competitive advantage. But digitalization has also an environmental impact. And this adds up to a never increasing demand for electricity and to rising carbon emissions. Today, data centers account for 3% of global electricity production. And the digitalization produces 4% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. That's why at BNP Paribas, as we are supporting our clients in their transition, it is also crucial for us to walk the talk by adopting the best practices when it comes to reducing the digital footprint of our IT and our operations. Because of the, the constant demand, we first looked at a, a new location to spread our risk and not to host all those uh, so farms in the same locations. The cold climate, uh, which we sometimes don't love, but <laughs> is definitely um, a competitive advantage because it reduces the need of uh, cooling, uh, electricity for cooling. So we have the ability now not only to determine what technology that you need to have in your facilities, but how we can help you deploy that around the world from a logistics perspective. What we see is the demographics are changing. The demographics in terms of age and what the, the desires that the banking customers have. Uh, just the other day we heard a stat that said 1.7 billion people on this earth are unbanked. They don't even utilize banks today. So there's where the challenge becomes the opportunity that they have. But also this demographic and the younger generation certainly wants to do more from a digital perspective and having banking at your fingertips. So we see that as certainly a trend. As you are probably aware, there is a massive war for talent all across the UK and other global markets um, to try to get some people that understand and have worked with cloud before, um, preferably someone that's gone through cloud transformation processes, someone that understands the underlying technology. 
a lot of the regulators at the moment still haven't caught up exactly what cloud means in terms of the security controls, how they comply to certain existing regulations, and those adaptations are causing areas of grey for banks. So once the regulators really do get under good terms with what they need to do, then the, the banks will be helped out massively so they'll be able to accelerate.